Hello, my name is Michelle Francini, and I'm so excited to be part of the Thrive 5 cohort focusing on education here in Tulsa. My specific area of interest is literacy. Each year, the National Assessment of Educational Progress puts out a report card for the nation's students. According to the 2022 report, 32% of fourth graders nationwide are reading proficiently at grade level. In Oklahoma, that number is 24%, which means that the vast majority of Oklahoma's fourth graders are not currently reading proficiently. And yet, the National Institute of Health estimates that 95% of all children do have the cognitive capacity to learn to read. So, why are 76% of Oklahoma students not reaching that potential? There are many reasons a student might fall behind in reading, but that NIH report offers some insights. They estimate that 30% of students, or 6 out of a class of 20, can learn to read regardless of how they are taught. There are three levels or tiers of literacy instruction. Tier 1 is core classroom instruction, and it will be sufficient for those six students. 50% of students, or 10 out of our class of 20, will need additional targeted instruction in foundational phonics skills in order to become proficient readers. This is known as Tier 2 instruction. And then there is an additional 15%, three students in our class, who will require intensive intervention, known as Tier 3. Those are the three I want to focus on because those are the students that we now know are likely to have dyslexia, which researchers estimate affects 15 to 20 percent of the general population in varying degrees. The most common misunderstanding about dyslexia is that it means a person sees letters or words backwards. In fact, the latest research tells us that dyslexia is not related to vision, but rather to auditory processing. Specifically, people with dyslexia have difficulty processing the individual sounds that make up words, called phonemes. Looking at fMRI brain scans, we can see the areas that light up when a typical reader processes a text. Now look at the brain of a dyslexic reader. The purple area, responsible for processing speech sounds, does not light up. The neurons in that area are not organized in the same way as those of a typical reader, meaning they can hear and understand whole words, but they cannot easily process phonemes and connect them to individual letters. If you cannot separate the three individual sounds in the word cat to k, a, t, it is extremely difficult to learn to connect just the A ah sound to the letter A. Dyslexic people are extremely adept at relying on other areas of their brain to make up for this processing difficulty. They are usually highly creative and excellent problem solvers with strong interpersonal skills. In fact, young dyslexic students are often so bright in every other aspect of their learning that it comes as a shock to their teachers and families when they struggle with reading. Dyslexia is not something it needs to be or can be cured. However, with the right kind of Tier 3 intensive one-on-one -on -one reading instruction specifically designed to target those other areas of the brain in a multisensory way, thus playing to their strengths instead of compounding their weaknesses, dyslexic students can learn to unlock their potential as readers. Regular classroom instruction and even high-quality Tier 2 intervention will never be enough for them. No matter how frequently they receive it, no matter how hard they and their teachers and tutors and families work, they need Tier 3 to succeed. So, for my Community Impact Project, I plan to implement a Tier 3 after-school tutoring program for students identified as being at risk for dyslexia at one Tulsa public school. I'm beginning with a pilot program consisting of myself and three students. The training, materials, and license for the curriculum I chose cost a total of $3,400 for a single tutor. Credentialed tutors charge around $60 per session for this type of instruction, so the cost to tutor a single student twice a week for the 30 weeks of the regular school year would be $3,600. Individually, this is a lot to ask of a new tutor and the family of a student who needs their services. But for a benefactor who might like to sponsor that tutor and student, the total cost would be only $7,000. The cost for three students would be just over $14,000 because the materials and tutor license are a one-time investment. At the conclusion of my pilot program, my goal is to secure funding to expand my after-school program to include additional tutors, students, and schools. The system I chose is designed to be learned and implemented by anyone willing to invest their time in the training, not necessarily someone with a background in education. If we add two additional tutors to my pilot model, and each tutor has six students, the total investment becomes $25,000 each. 75000 total for three tutors to learn a new skill and reach 18 students. And tutors would keep their tutoring license in perpetuity with no additional annual cost. As credentialed experts with a marketable skill, they could continue to work with us at our schools or go on to set up their own private practice in their communities. In the end, we'd be creating new jobs and unlocking the potential of countless young readers here in Tulsa.
Eventually, I envision a community network of trained expert tutors that will provide Tier 3 reading instruction here in Tulsa to those three students in every class who we know need it the most. That's my vision for T3 tutoring. Thank you so much.